Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we're going to look at one of the most popular heat pump systems that we've been installing this year. It's going to be the Carrier uh, 38 MURAQ unit outside and the variable speed fan coil that matches that inside the 40 MUAA. Um, I'm going to go through the system. I'm going to talk about the outside uh, unit first, and then we're going to go inside and take a look at the fan coil and the thermostat we did. So. So make sure you uh, watch the whole video. I have a lot of good insights on this system, why it's so popular. I'm gonna talk about efficiencies. I'm gonna talk about dimensions and uh, all that kind of stuff. As always, please like this video, subscribe to my page. Um, we really appreciate that. If you have any comments, leave them in the section below. And if you're in the Orange County, California area, you'd like an estimate or to discuss any of these systems, give me a call at 714-526-6368 or visit us at albertair.com. So as for this outdoor unit, we do have a two and a half ton variable speed heat pump condenser. And this is the 3.8 MURAQ unit. Um, this efficiency for this is 17.3 SEER2. Um, it's sound rating on high, which it's on high right now, is 61 decibels. So let's listen to that real quick. So you can see it is extremely quiet. Um, we are in a, a pretty small uh, area back here. So when people are outside, if this was on, it would not bother them. Um, that's why people get this unit. We can put it in a planter like this because the dimensions are very nice. It is 37 inches length by 16 and a half depth. And then from the ground up, it's 32 inches high. Um, we sit it on a 38 by 18 by three inch high pad with the unit so that levels the unit minimizes vibration also keeps it from sitting in any water or anything um, this unit uses a 30 amp disconnect we have 30 amp fuses in this disconnect uh, with the whip that goes into the unit right here we have our refrigerant lines three quarter three eighths that come into the unit as well um, this unit um, like i said is matched with an indoor fan coil the uh, variable speed 40 mu AAQ 30 XA3 making this a full variable speed system. So, outdoors we have variable speed, indoors we have variable speed for both heating and cooling. It decides what speeds to run at based on temperature sensors and pressure sensors within the units. So, that's how it does it. And then we use an EcoBee 6 premium Wi Fi smart thermostat to match with the system. So, let's go indoors now. We're going to take a look at that and I'll show you what's going on in here. So as you can see, this is our furnace closet right in front of us. There's one of the return grills. On this side, we have the other return grill. And right here, we have our Ecobee Smart Premium Thermostat that's running the system. So we have it set really low right now down to 66 degrees to make sure that it is cooling and we're checking all that. And you can set that up or down however you like. 75 is what it is in the room right now. So in this closet here, you can see the fan coil. So on top up here, we have what's called the supply plenum. That's where the air flows through that goes through the ductwork. And then this is the unit itself. This is the 40 MUAAQ 30 XA3 fan coil, variable speed. On the bottom down here, we have our filter. So this is where you would just get that out if you needed to clean it. It's a 20 by 20 for a one inch filter and that's the rack it sits on. The unit itself is 21 width by 21 depth by 49 inches tall. So it will fit back in a closet where a furnace was and there was a furnace in here. We took that out and we converted everything to an all electric heat pump system. Um, to do that, we do have to have a dedicated circuit. That is our 220 disconnect switch right there. Um, from the panel to that uh, outlet was a dedicated circuit for the furnace. So we were able to convert it to 220 without any problems. We did put a new two pole breaker in the panel, 15 amp. Um, also inside here, we have our filter dryer, our three quarter three eighths refrigerant lines. We have a primary drain on the fan coil that goes outside. And then we have a, a safety shutoff switch uh, if this were to back up ever, it would flow into here and kill the system so it doesn't flow all over your floor. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about this system. Um, I think it's fantastic. It's very, very quiet, 
very efficient when you match these two together. Again, it's 17.3 SEER 2. Um, you match that with the Ecobee thermostat. When you put that combination together, the carrier variable speed unit outside, the variable speed fan coil inside, and that Ecobee thermostat, there is a carrier cool cash instant rebate as well as a comfortably California rebate. So depending on what size system and what you match it with, those rebates will differ. So you're welcome to uh, leave a comment in the section below if you want to know what those rebates are. I'm happy to tell you what they are based on what size system you want. And if you're looking to do a heat pump system, convert from the gas furnace, uh, we're happy to, to talk to you about that too. So let me know your thoughts. As always, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and thank you for watching.